Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at how we can respond back to Chatwood conversation using the Chatwood API. So when we are creating a chatbot for Chatwood it is very important that we are able to respond back to the user and there are quite a few ways that we can interact with the user as a chatbot using the chatbot API. Now to first understand what the API documentation is and where we can find them let's quickly look at that. So if you go to this URL which is chatwood.com slash developers slash API which I think you should be able to go from here somewhere or maybe through the help center okay you will come across their APIs. Now there are quite a few things in here and what we are most interested is conversations. Conversations are created when a chat widget is kind of you know, initiating a conversation for any inbox and after the conversations the second thing that we are interested in is the messages. Now in messages we have different types of content that we can send. Apart from the basic text, we have input email, we have cards, input select, form, article. Now we will explore quite a few of them for our overall solution. But for now, I am just trying to intercept a message and let's just say if the message is high, we just want to respond back saying hello. That's it. Very simple step. Let's get started. So in regards to the setup, if you are coming directly to this video, I would definitely request you to first go through the previous videos because we have looked at how we can install Chatwood and how we can set up the webhooks. But what happens is we get the webhooks from Chatwood whenever a conversation is updated with a new message. And I am going to use ngrox. Okay, so ngrox HTTP 3002 is uh, the port where my HTML page is running. If you can see, okay, no, 3001 is where the HTML page is running and my Python application will start on 3002. And I have the other Docker setup where you can see that my nginx, the HTML page is running on 3001. My main application is running on 3000. I have Postgres and I have Redis as well. Okay, this is the standard chat board support. This is the additional container that I'm running. Okay, so that's the recap now. So let's go back to this top terminal and let's start our ngrox tunnel. So we have the admin on 4040. Let me open that up. Okay, I can see that and now inside a cognito window i will start the conversation okay so i am getting a few messages let me add my email address as well so i set the email address and i say hello again okay now let's go back to the chatbot admin by the way we are getting all these all of them are 502 because my Python app is not running. We will start that in a bit. And if I reload. Okay, because the user already existed. It is kind of you know, doing its thing and showing me the messages over here. I can respond back. Now obviously chat agent would not answer like that but just so that you understand hmm. the conversation is oh this is the one the mine was different so it was not assigned to me I'm sorry about that so it says assigned to me yes do that and now if I send ideally I can see 
a reply which is fine so now let us try to understand how the webhook can be processed here i'll clear this out come over here i am on which terminal over here so what i would do is source dot vnv bin activate so that my python environment is virtual environment is activated yes it is and now i will run python app dot py so with this now the application is running and if i now say if i say that i'm going to can i see the webhook ideally yes i can see the webhook so now i want to respond to it if you go into the documentation of create a new message i can see the url is like api v1 accounts then we need to pass the account id in the url conversations conversation id how do i get the conversation id should be somewhere here conversation conversation id is 3 okay account id is 1 so here goes 1 here goes 3 then messages and then i can send a post request in regards to the authorization it says that i can i need an api access token okay which is fine and by visiting the profile page i can get that so let me first do that okay i go to the profile page profile settings i'll just copy this i'll open this up let's just say i'll have a condition that if the message is equal to hi this is the only time that we will respond back now just cre create the i mean uh, just so that we don't you know respond to everything okay if the message is high well uh, for this i will require a package from python called requests so why don't we install that first mm let me open up one more terminal okay and it needs to be sourced so okay pip install requests done pip freeze should have the thing pip freeze requirements dot txt okay if i go to my txt file can you see requests is added so the rest one may be a dependency of the requests i'm i haven't installed them manually but now i can import the requests fair enough my url will be something like 127.0.0.1 and then because it is running on port 3000 right and the rest i will copy from here okay for now let's just try and hard code these things first so my account id was 1 if i'm not wrong yes and the conversation id is 3 which is again over here i need to send some data let's see what is the required parameter it says content is the only required parameter so why don't we do that I'll just reply with this. Now our message is ready. We also need the headers. So what I will do is inside header, I have the key, which is this, and 
my key will be for now I'll just copy it from here I'm running it locally so you know there's no immediate problem but yes this is something which we will I would say refactor to get this from environment variables okay even these things are right now hard-coded but yeah right now we are just trying to send the request and see if things are working so I have response equals requests dot post inside the post what I need to do is first I need to send the URL then I need to send the JSON data then I also need to send the headers and now if everything is right then we should ideally see a response to high let's see time to test obviously this is not returning anything but if I type hi it says hello how are you so you can see what we have been able to do is get a message and from that message we are checking if we want to do something with it and based on that we are returning back a message okay so yeah this is really what I wanted to show in this video this is a very basic step we are able to now respond back to the conversation with our message and this is a good step forward we will in the next video try to refactor this code so that our um, you know the the functionality of replying back with a message is much more generic we are able to reuse it we are able to get rid of these hard-coded IDs and even you know get this from an environment variable so yeah this is what I wanted to cover in this video. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any feedback, comment below and stay tuned for the next video.